welcome back to another video guys this will just be another quick one in this one will be comparing the galaxy watch 5 pro to the galaxy watch 4 classic as you can tell the main difference between these two visually will be the rotating bezel as you got here on your watch 4 classic as you can see and we don't have that on the watch 5 pro on the watch 5 pro we have a similar one compared to the watch 4 and the watch 5 which is a digital rotating bezel as you can see here just rotate you got and you do the same thing as if you're rotating the bezel here right now i haven't updated my galaxy watch 4 classic just to show you the differences i also got a watch 4 here which has been updated so it's basically the same running the same software as the watch 5 sorry the watch 5 pro right we'll scroll down and see what system updates we're running on the watch 4 we are running one ui 4.0 as you can see here and the watch 5 we're running one ui 4.5 with wear os 3.5 on the watch 5 and wear os 3.2 on the watch 4 classic right software wise before it was updated when you scroll down on the watch 4 you got the percentage at the top but that comes after the date see the date then it will change to battery percentage and your connections on the latest software on the watch 5 pro When you scroll down, you get your date at the bottom and it's got your percentage at the top. But once you update it, this is the watch 4 here. Once you update it, it'll be the same as the watch 5, running the same software. Right, on the new update, you can change it to a bold font and that's not available on the watch 4 classic. We'll go in, see what happens. We've got default. So you got the same things here. You got the size. On the old software, you got small, medium, large. You got a. We well got four options here. I know in accessibility, if you click that, you go to visibility enhancements. Before. I had to change to change the screen animation. I have to open up developer options. But now you could remove animations completely on the new update. Another difference between One UI 4.0 and 4.5 will be the alarms. Right, you can see here it goes to set time, you press it, then it goes to set repetition on the old. 4.0 on the 4.5 it gives you repeat weekly you choose the date you choose the alarm name but once you press here you can only do the sound so on the 4.5 you could do the date obviously repeat weekly and you could set a name for your alarm you can't swipe all the way out from the alarm on 4.0 but you can on 4.5 as you see here on 4.5 you get the actual Galaxy Watch 5 and 5 Pro watch faces we'll see here we don't have them on the Watch 4 Classic but if we bring in the Watch 4 which is actually running the 4.5 update as you can see straight away already we've got the watch 5 watch face which is not available on 4.0 but once I update the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic to 4.5 we'll have exactly the same watch face and the same options so basically it's just 
a couple of sensors will be slightly different because obviously you've got better sensors in the Watch 5 Pro than you do in the Watch 4 Classic. If you have a Watch 4 Classic and you're okay with the battery life, I wouldn't really upgrade to the Watch 5 Pro because I still wear my Watch 4 Classic because I like the rotating bezel a lot. I still use it a lot. And this doesn't have it, it's just got a digital one like the Watch 4 where you just roll your finger around it. Yeah, it does the job, but it's not as satisfying as using the actual physical rotating bezel on the Watch 4 Classic. Turn the Watch 4 Classic over. You see that the sensors look near enough the same. I've got a strap in the way. You can see the sensors near enough the same, but you got a temperature sensor on the Watch 5 Pro, which is not even active yet. We don't have that on the Watch 4 Classic. And this, the sensors are supposed to be more updated. As you can see, they protrude out a bit more, make better contact to your skin, give you a better reading. Once you update the Watch 4 Classic to the Watch 5 and the Watch 5 Pro, you get near enough the same same experience. Right guys, that was a quick comparison between the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro and the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. I mean, if you prefer the rotating bezel, Galaxy Watch 4 Classic's definitely the way to go. Smaller battery, just slightly, but once you update it to One UI 4.5, you'll get the same experience. I'm just missing that temperature sensor. Uh, also the, the trackback feature, that's on the Watch 5 Pro. Um, I think that's about it really. Once you update it, like I said, you get the same experience software wise. Anyway guys, that was just a quick video. If you've got any questions, leave them down in the comments. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.